Well, here's another question. Uh, can you explain the stupidity of the argument that because some immigrants come from low IQ populations, they shouldn't be allowed? Well, I mean, it's not even a question about immigration. I, I, don't, I don't know what an, a low IQ immigration population is. I have long fought against the idea that intelligence can be captured in one number, that intelligence qua IQ matters that much. Um, I also think it's absurd to think that you as an individual should be judged by the IQ of your ethnic group or your uh, whatever group, right? Because the variations among individuals far uh, uh, the variations among individuals far exceed the variations among groups. So statistically, it's just stupid statistics, right? I mean, Thomas Sowell is is a you know think about his IQ higher than mine, higher than probably all of yours. He's black. The average black IQ supposedly is lower than the average Ashkenazi Jew, which is what I am IQ. Oh well, we should ban Thomas Sowell. And we should allow all the Ashkenazi Jews in the world in. All the Chinese in, by the way, because they have high IQs. So Eastern Asians have relatively high IQs, second only to Ashkenazi Jews. So flood the country with, with Eastern A Asians. Let's see how that works. I mean, it, the, whole thing, I mean the whole thing is stupid. And, I, and I, again, I don't like the focus on IQ as a measure of anything. I mean, I know really smart people who are awful and stupid. And I know really stupid people in terms of IQ who are incredible who are incredible human beings. So I, I find the whole IQ the discussion a disguise for racism, a disguise for tribalism, a disguise for xenophobia. So I don't like talking about it.